in Washington today over health care and pensions. The Miners Union wants taxpayers to cover the funds for miners that have been laid off. About 83,000 coal miners have lost their jobs and 400 coal mines have shut since President Obama took office in 2008. Murray Energy CEO Bob Murray joins us now. Uh, good, Bob, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Sandra. So the numbers that I just cited, they are dismal. And today we are going to hear from these miners. Do you think Washington will actually be listening? Well, I hope they do. They need to be listening to this, these coal miners, particularly the leadership of the United States Senate, our president, and of course the House. These coal miners have a very legitimate complaint this problem was created by the federal government in 1946 when an agreement under President Truman between his Secretary of Interior, Mr. Krug, and the Union gave a federal guarantee, Sandra, mm -hmm. to these pensions for their lives. What has happened is in 1984, we had 2,800 coal companies paying into these funds. Today, there's only 17, mm -hmm. and only two major ones. These people worked in the mines and gave, fought the wars and fueled this country. And now at a time in their lives when they were, need this pension that they were guaranteed by our federal government, they're being denied it. And that is why the Miners' Pension Act is now been sponsored in the Senate, bipartisan, to take this fund which has 6.4 billion in liabilities and only 3.8 billion in assets mm -hmm. to shore it up. Americans need, need to help here. These miners were promised these benefits, yeah. and the government needs to step and, up. And, and I should point out that Mike Murphy, who's sitting on our panel this morning from Rosecliff Capital, you're the son of a miner. I am. My, my father was what you call a sand hog. He, he was a miner underground. He built uh, train tunnels and water tunnels. And when I was in college, I was actually down there a mile underground building uh, mm -hmm. wa uh, water tunnels also. So I, I'm familiar with it. And, and I think um, what uh, Mr. Murray is speaking about it is absolutely right. You, these people, we, we wanted them, we needed them when they were working, and now we can't turn our backs on them because that has a profound impact on the entire country, on all of society, if you just turn your back on these people. And it 